This is Haley Cummings, and when I want to listen to something funny and down to earth, I tune into the hardest working podcast out there. My favorite and Oklahoma's favorite podcast, The Elijah Bailey Show. We're, we're like ghosts. Just that back and forth like a leader. Don't do that. Is that. Was that too much? That was a little bit much. Uh, but we're here. We're here today. It's going to be a great day today in Trump lands. Get rid of the Constitution now. Got the niggers and Constitution, all of it. And the Mexicans. Get rid of all of them. <laughs> like, that is what I've heard it's that is going down. Way. It's the perfect way to start my day. You know? Yeah. Fuck. Coffee. Talk to me. Coffee. Well, we got to start this deal off right. We're here. Uh, let's do it. And three, two, one. Welcome and welcome back to your weekly source for anime, comics, video games, and pop culture news, reviews, opinions, and more here on the Elijah Bailey Show, where we believe that just because it's an anime doesn't always mean it should be made into a live action. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, like, I know ouch. not all of them like, should be made. I shots feel like fired. That's a, yeah, I feel like that's some heavy shots fired, especially coming just, from you, sir. I'm just saying, like, I've noticed some things lately, but uh, let me just do the rest of the introductions. I'm one of your hosts, the man that defeated or defected from Hoity Jones crew before Luffy and the rest of them rolled through. Uh, the only man that made it down Snake Way before Goku. I am one of your hosts, Elijah 5000. My legs were tired. What's the name? What's the name made it? Don't uh, worry about it. What's his name? Uh, Come on. King Ooh. Ox, not King Ox. Um, King, are you thinking of King Kai that lives at the no. end? No, who's the guy who King Yama? King Yama. King Yama. Yeah. yeah, Yama wear a tux to work every day. He's it don't matter. He's got bigger legs, longer legs. It doesn't matter with him. But and the guy that's over here that's questioning my authority with me as always is my friend and the only person to ever. Beat Kuro Sensei in a race. You know that man? He goes Mach hey, 2. Hey, he's fast. Mach 2. Uh, the last member of the Hugo main branch, the Buckety. You can tell by his his <laughs> mohawk. Hey, I got it. I, Keith, thanks for coming through. He asked me in the stream, the Yakuza stream, he said, What I think about that latest Transformers trailer and to see like Cheetah. Rhinox and uh, Optimus, like his animals. Uh, you haven't seen it, have you? Uh, I, you're not I've geeking seen out right now. I've no, seen clips of it. I'm not seen it. I'm a Transformer fan, but I'm not a Transformer uh, live action fan. Oh, you're just trash right now, then. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, no, hey, like, is there, hey, is there anyone I can bribe you to lift your camera up just a tad? Lift it up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I, I got you now. I got you. I you know what? You. I thought about that. I was like, no, we're just going to leave it. We're <laughs> <laughs> just going to leave it. He's like, hey, dude, I need you to level out because you're messing with my eyes. Yeah, my whole body's tingling over. Eyes. He's like, he's shaking. Uh, so are you are you geeking out for it? I've seen the, yeah. the, the little transformation that I've been seeing on, um, on TikTok and social media. Yeah, um, I'm definitely definitely one to like geek out about like beast type transformers because it like when optimus changed from like the gorilla to the robot mode it was very reminiscent of the tv show uh cheetah running alongside bumblebee whoever the hell it was in the savannah like looked very damn good as a cheetah rhinox looked very good uh, we saw a hawk or an eagle like you're seeing the characters and cast of the series and they look very similar but transformers does a great job of transforming you know the cars and the robots so it's it's never like it's a bad ride it's just like oh i definitely remember this version of transformers this was beast wars and there's battling for energon every every episode they had defectors from both sides so yeah all right i'm, I'm excited I, I am geeking about out about it because we got three trailers we'll talk about you know one next week I mean, we'll talk about the rest later, but yeah, that one really like kind of hit home. So. Okay, okay, happy for you. Mm. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna watch it, and you know, I yeah, love I know. it. You got a family now; it's like you yeah. gotta go. Yeah. So. Psh. Yeah. I'll be so. there. 
I'll be there. Um, anyways, this yeah. is our anime. Episode 340, baby. Mm-hmm. Anime edition. Saint See It Ain't So in the <laughs> Christmas Showdown. How'd I do? How'd I do? How'd Saint I do? Say It, because it's saying uh, you're close. You're close. Uh, I thought yeah. you was doing a little special shindig or something. Uh, yeah, just for the kind of kind of special, kind of not special, <laughs> kind of just like oh no, they're doing this. I, I thought this was a lie, but it turns out it's true. Fuck I you. <laughs> they, these are the people where I'm like, no, I'm not gonna see that. I'm like Transformers, hell yeah, I am, but this, hell no. Hey, Nick Johnson, fuck no. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it because we do have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Uh, we have the segment one anime releases for this month, followed by Tayo Say. Then segment two is all of our news that's going down. We sure is some good news uh, going down yeah. the anime world. Everything from mm. Tucker Revengers popping up on the new. Yeah. Ah, man, these people are super aggressive out here. Toonani uh, coming back with some big classics that they want to make sure that you are tuning in on watching. Yes. Dragon Ball Super talking about something that has puzzled all of us. But uh, if you would have I never really attention. cared about it, but it's still been puzzling everybody. Yeah. And then also the return of Seven Deadly Sins for some strange reason. I just hit on the topics that I'm going to be talking about. No, no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. The rest of them will be surprises as we go through today's episode. Um, and remember, we always close out the show with segment three, the anime and manga of the month. So you'll get to do get to know and see those if you didn't last time. So let's go ahead and dive into it pretty quickly with the anime releases for December. We have several films, TV series, and a few ONAs and OVAs. So I'm just going to run through the list. Like, there's no reason to trade off on this puny list. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's puny, but it starts out with a banger. Yeah, I know have you. you have, to... have you started? It? No, no, not at okay, all. Okay, no, okay. I've been go saving. Ahead, I've been saving myself. Um, but it is four thirty, <laughs> December fifth. So uh, we'll let you know the date the these uh, series and TV shows and movies and everything dropped, and the title along with the anime uh, studio that is doing the animation for them. So on December third, uh, as far as anime films, we had the first slam dunk by Toei Animation and Dandelion Animation Studios. Uh, December 9th, we have Kite Ketsu Zora Zora La 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 Suta Tanjo. Uh, Aijodo Animation Works and Bandai Namco Pictures made this one. Uh, December 17th, we have Kaguya-sama Love is War, uh, The First Kiss That Never Ends by A1 Pictures. December 20th, The Seven Deadly Sins Grudge of uh, Eidenberg Part 1 by Alfred Image Works and Marvy Jack Studios. December 23rd, Lonely Castle in the Mirror by A1 Pictures. And then December 31st, we have Fate Stay Fake, Whisper of Dawn by A1 Pictures. Those will be all your films dropping in December. Next for uh, anime TV series today, December 5th, we have Me and Roboco by Gallup Studios. Uh, December 9th, we have Dragon Age uh, Absolution Season 1. It's going to be six episodes coming out on Netflix. December 13th is Guden Tama, an excellent adventure, 10 episodes, I think also coming out on Netflix. And December 20th, there's Seven Deadly Sins, Grudge of Eidenberg, Part 1. Um, the, uh, vision, uh, the original Net animations, ONAs, you have December 8th coming out. Uh, Gaiken Shoujo Shuji by Studio Mir. And December 13th is, again, Guden Tama, an excellent adventure, uh, OLM. Uh, Mon- Monatari Studios, and then sometime this December, there is no date, but Lupin Zero, six episodes by Telcom Ooh. Animations Film. Um, yeah, spicy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Lupin, uh, always loving the Lupin. Mm. Um, I, there was a review for the latest Lupin, like it just smoke. Yeah. There's no reason. Um, and then last but not least, the OVAs for this month. Um, now, this one was slated anywhere between November 25th and December 23rd. It's still not out, so we're looking towards the 23rd as the deadline. Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World 2, Passionone Studios. And then December 8th, we have Ona no Sono no Hoshi. 
So those are your OVAs coming out. Those are all your releases coming out this month. I have to say something though. Yes. Say have it. you no seen never. Okay. No, what what is it? Okay, called? yeah. Have have you have you seen the trailers for the seven daily sins? Yeah. Yes I have. Do you not fill on the CG? It looks like dog poop. There's a it reason looks like why the cut I, 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 from Sonic Adventure One. Okay. Okay. Yes, it does. Uh, so, I have nothing. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave yeah, it at I have that. nothing to say That's with that. Like, like. If this that... is one of the ones. I was just talking to someone earlier today. Oh. We were talking about animes who milk the cow completely dry. <laughs> and I must say, Seven Dilly Sins have milked that cow completely. Utters are, are you not liking no more. They are pimples the, on a bump. Are you not liking... That's what, do you hear me? They are pimples on a bump. The they are standard no longer, shonen they are no follow the kids journey no afterwards. Utters. I just don't understand it. Pimples on a bump. That's what they are. I don't Anyways, understand I digress. why you Go don't ahead. love this journey that Go. we keep getting. Go ahead and holler us with the Tayose. So. Okay, so I was trying to pull up clips here while you were so passionately talking about something that I mean, like, eh, we're not going to talk about right now, but we're going to talk about our character of the month. Let me go ahead and pull up this other scene so you can see this uh, lovely lady, and then we will pull up a clip. Uh, one of the manga that I love reading, I think the manga is way better than the anime, but it is Dead Man's Wonderland. Uh, our character today, Tayose, the black character we are honoring from this series, is Karako Koshio. Um, she uses her fist of blood martial arts fighting style to help Ganta and the crew battle their way out of Dead Man Wonderland. She is a second in command to the Scars Chain under her pseudonym of Game Foul. She's even the one who organized the prison's mass escape. Uh, Karako fighters, guards, and enemies alike with her violent aura that can drop into a loving smile and motherly nature when peers are around. So she really did a good job of, of kind of protecting people, but also just like letting you know that you could be a strong female lead. Uh, now, the thing that I loved about this series is the way that they use blood because you go yeah. in, they mm -hmm. manipulate you and they use blood like as your weapon, basically. Yeah. And you fight in like... An underground, uh, like, like the gladiators, because it's not like it's. Is it between other? It's not even between other prisons. It's just this prison. It's just this prison. This to, is all internal mess in yeah. a wonderland. Is like a far word to say, but uh, yeah, it's all. It's not even a prison against prison. It's like inmates against inmates. Yeah, I wasn't gonna find a clip, but all the other, all the clips are like tied into long episodes. But yeah, like. It was very interesting to see the way that they went, like the route that they went for this series, and I loved reading it. I watched it, and I was like, ah, dude, y'all are missing to, so many. I'm yeah, going yeah, to have to go read it. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, even the stuff that was shocking in the series, like he going to school and his whole class is like butchered in front of him, they did not do it justice from what they showed in the manga, like the the limbs and the blood, like all that stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. This is how we're doing it. I was okay, like, oh, y'all okay. ta tamed it down a little bit for the TV. And that says a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it is. Wasn't, I mean, the, and the TV wasn't just completely like PG. No, not at all. Uh, yeah, not at Gaunt all. It was, was <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but we're already, like, we're, we're 16 minutes in. Let's take a quick pause for the cause. When we come back, we're going to hit all of our latest news for the day before we round out the show with segment three. So we'll be right back after this break. Are you a thug, pickpocket, mafioso, yakuza, delinquent, or just plain degenerate? Then you're exactly who we're looking for. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty and you want to travel the Southeast Asian waters taking what you want and giving nothing back, then come to the center of town and sign up to be a part of the Lagoon's crew. We guarantee food and shelter, more or less, and the time of your life.
Let's face it, mechs can be expensive initially and to maintain. Do yourself a favor and cut the cost down to the bare nuts and bolts. Studies show that regular application of GW40 can reduce the wear and tear from exposure to harsh environments. Joints clog with sand? GW40 will fix it. Visors covered in ice and frost with a little GW40? Watch as it melts right off. Save your mech time and money with GW40. Gun damn. <laughs> we just realized we've missed uh, out on some black clover. Back so. all the way to page thirteen. <laughs> uh, you got okay. I was on. Uh, I was on ten because I, I went back Ooh, for a minute. I had to go back. I don't. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to have to go back and reread it because I, I just literally just flew through it just to try to to take in this this goodness gracious that is black clover. Mm. If you do, if you do not watch black clover or have read black clover, I'm not knocking you, but I'm knocking you because you're missing out on a. Like that's a classic, especially like if you're a fan of Naruto. Mm-hmm. There's no reason why you would not be a fan of Black Clover. True. Um, you know, it, it just there's no fillers in it. Not saying it's like Naruto, but it has certain elements that does remind you of Naruto. And the story is just man, that's some good storytelling, man. That's some that's some oh woo did not see that coming type moments in the story. Yeah, a lot of twists yeah, and turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways. So, like Mr. Bailey said, we got some news of the anime that has been going down this month for you. And we are trying to cover all the things that we felt like was important. Elijah, do you mind if I take things off? Go right ahead. All right. And our first docket of news is that Disney to exclusively stream Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown anime in January. Disney announced at its Pacific, uh, Asian Pacific content showcase on Wednesday that it will exclusively stream Tokyo Revengers Christmas Showdown sequel anime this coming up winter. In Asia, the anime will stream exclusively on Disney Plus and Disney Plus Hotstar starting in January. Although previous anime titles have streamed in other regions on Disney's other services, this is a part of Disney Plus and Kadashia's extended partnership which includes licensing and exclusive anime series based on mangas produced by Kodashiya. Um, man, Disney's not playing with uh, jumping into this game of anime, are they? Mm. Dude. I'm try- I was trying to see if the... Because I forgot you had the screen divided like that. Because I had the trailer playing too and I pulled it up. Oh. So I don't know if that's up somewhere. I was like, where's this trailer? My bad. I got distracted for a minute. Oh, no, you're all good, man. Um, I'm excited for this. And honestly, yeah, this like, is really I, good. I think a couple people are saying, man, I think Disney's doing too much. No, Disney can never do too much. I mean, you got to look at what Disney is now. Disney is a company that owns Marvel, mm-hmm. that owns National Geographic, that owns Star Wars. I mean, that's yeah. some like, that's aggressive stuff to say that you own it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to oh, add yeah. anime to it, I hate to say it. And I know because it's, it's a form of monopoly, but. Yeah, I love the Disney app. Yeah, <laughs> I, out of all the apps I use, I love that like one the most. Netflix, Crunchy, Hulu. I love. Well, I like Hulu too, but in for obvious reasons. But Disney yeah. is their app is so user friendly. It's clean. There's no weird buff. I mean, it works. And yeah. if it's not going to play the video, it lets you know. It'll tell you instantly. Hey dog, we ain't gonna try to buffer this out. The app, the, the app went down. Try again real quick, and we'll get it back up for you. Yep. Boom, that's it. So nice and easy. Hulu, cause bleach is lead. Yes, yeah, what's up, Jay Stone? Thanks for checking us out. But yeah, I mean, and you know, if I'm correct, I think Disney owns Hulu, does it not? I don't know. May I'm, I, I wouldn't I, like I put it past so. him. I believe so. I think Disney actually owns uh, Hulu. Let me fact check myself. Um, but yeah, so you know, get ready for yeah. Even Stone says I think it does, and yes, Disney currently owns sixty six percent of Hulu, nice. and Comcast holds the other thirty three percent. So there's a reason why that's there. You go, crazy. exactly. Yep. All right, let's keep things rolling. Let's talk about this live action Saint Seiya. I'll pull up the trailer here in a minute, but live action Saint Seiya. Uh, Knights of the Zodiac film unveils a new trailer visual. The staff of the Knights of the Zodiac, the live action film of Masami Kuramada's Saint Seiya manga, 
unveiled a trailer teaser and visual on Wednesday, which you could find on the Twitter webpage at uh, Satsun's uh, S A T O S A N A K O on Twitter. Um, now I watched the trailer and I was like, "Huh, okay." Um, the they got some Full Metal Alchemist, but darker vibes. Yo, like, yeah, we're gonna watch this together again because <laughs> this trailer had me tripping for a minute. Uh, the film will open in 2023. The film tagline is "Pegasus will rise," so it feels like it's taking like. I don't, I don't want to say it's just taking the first portion of of Seiya, you know, growing up and going to Greece and fighting for the box. But in the manga, it does stretch out longer than what it shows in the anime. That would be a waste, I think. You got to go a little bit further than that because that's like just that's like a teaser teaser. People will be mm-hmm. pissed to pay to see that. But Toy Animation producer Yoshi Ikazawa told uh, the news website Variety that Toy Animation is looking at six movies as a package for the live action franchise. He had a toy animation has already started the conversation to make sequels. The film stars, uh, Mac, uh, Mac and you from Pacific Rim uprising, Rony Kenshin, uh, the final and the live action Chihira Furu film. I didn't know there was a live action one. Now I gotta check that out. Uh, Madison Eisman from Jumanji sequels. And then I know what you did last summer, the television series, Sean Beam from game of Thrones, the Lord of the rings and Kingsglaive's final fantasy. Uh, Famake Jensen from X-Men taking the vault. Nick Stahal from fear of the walking dead, Diego Tinoco from on my block and Mark Dukakis is John Wicks. Uh, and I, th- I remember we went through all the like he's got Hawaii Five O, Crime Freeman, Kaiman Ryder, Iron Chef America, which I, I love the way he uh, Ale Cuisine. But um, yeah, Saint Seiya follows the the knights as they battle for Athena, basically, and try to make sure that Earth is not destroyed. Now the reason the Earth. How do you feel about this, real quick? Not to interrupt you, but how do you oh, feel? Oh no, about like, like um, I know Saint Seiya is like your. That's your my bag, dude. Like, hey, that's uh, your bag, man. Like, are you excited for this? Is it because of the issue with live action films? You're just kind of like, oh, I want to well, be excited, but I just know I can't. You know, the fact that it's live action never enters question because it's a live action. It's just like if I watch the trailer for the live action, it looks like trash. That's mm-hmm. when I'm concerned. And like, that's where you get questionable. Yeah. So like how just, do you feel about this? Just seeing trip? it is kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like it it's almost like oh, a better one besides like uh I will keep Full Metal Alchemist. Well, I'll say it's like a mix between Full Metal Alchemist and then Mortal Kombat. It does have a Mortal Kombat feel to it. I, I was feeling the same way, uh, especially on that scene where he kind of does the thing with his arm. Mm-hmm. Uh it did gave me some sub zero um scorpio type vibe uh so let me ask you this are Mm. you are you excited about it yeah just because there's like some elements i'm like okay nobody's ever you haven't done anything like this before so that's interesting but then there's also stuff i'm like i don't know how how well this is going to translate just Mm. because the color scheme the tone of the nights and then it's just like lot. some of the fight scenes, it just doesn't feel feel like it's hitting. Thanks, yeah, so mm-hmm. so that's what's kind of got me. But I'm like, I'll wait and see because they're gonna have more trailers to convince us. But right now, I'm not really sold on. I'm more like, okay, this is something interesting they're gonna do. <laughs> okay. okay, well, you can't knock the way you feel because that's how you feel, sir. True. Uh, and Thank of course, you. I'm I'm I guess I'm. I'll see. I'll see how you react to it, and then if you like, dude, you gotta call. You have to watch it. I'm just gonna it, tell you, I did. You gotta watch oh, this. This is amazing. But no, I hope you don't lie to me. I hope you don't lie. No, to I'm me. gonna. I'm definitely uh, gonna lie to you. But one thing I'm not about to lie about is the next piece of news, which is Tunani as My Hero Academia season six. Uh, the official Facebook page for Adult Swim Tunani programming block revealed on Monday that it will begin airing the sixth season of My Hero Academia. Yes anime on december 3rd at 12 a.m central standard time uh so i guess this happened last this past saturday mm-hmm. so line up now for tonight now, i wish tonight would just come back every night <laughs> even though i don't want you watch tonight anymore but still for the people who do watch it i wish they could be able to 
love and get the love that 290 gives you, not just on one night, but every night. So anyway, the lineup right now is at 12 a.m. We got My Hero Academia Season 6, 12.30, Made in Abyss Season 2, 1 a.m., Yashime, Princess Half Demon, the second arc. Wow, it's already on the second arc already. Um, mm-hmm. At 1.30, we got One Piece. At 2 o'clock, we got Naruto Shippuden. And then at 2.30, we got Primal, which was Primal. I don't think I've seen Primal. Is that any good? Yeah. You get a watch that. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I gotta check that out. So the anime premiered on October 1st, and the season will air for two continuous quarters uh, for a total of 25 episodes. So there, there you go. go. <laughs> it's always there, there you go. go. There you go, baby. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen director Sung Ho Park unveils Project Bullet and Bullet Anime. So Disney announced Wednesday that Sung Ho Park uh, spent a decade drafting the story for a original series, tentatively titled Project Bullet Bullet. Park Studio, E and H Productions, and Gaga are all producing the project, and Disney Plus will stream it. Um, I'm just gonna pull this up, and here's the artwork for it. So it gave me straight off the bat like Trigun vibes, just the way that it's not really it's colored in whatsoever. Yeah. And, uh, but then there's also some things that kind of look like uh, Ginka and Gluna, which was last month's manga of the month. But also, if you go further back, uh, what is the one where the kid's like in this city and it's all thieves? And he's like learning, he's becoming an even better thief. Damn. I can't remember. I can't remember what it is, but it, it's really reminiscent of that kind of apocalyptic world. world. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You already know exactly what it is. Yeah. So. It looks good, though. I'm excited. Yeah. Not and Disney, man, we're mentioning Disney a lot more. We are this episode than yeah. we have all the past years we've been recording this show. <laughs> true, true, very true. Yeah, Disney is uh, Taking man, they're dust, aggressive. Bro. Uh, and should I continue with um, the next article, which is oh, yeah, this this article. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway, so Dragon Ball uh, Super Creator addresses the anime timeline issue. There is an hmm. issue with the timeline anymore. I don't feel like the issue. I don't feel like there's a timeline issue anymore. It's like not an issue. Just around. people like, well, I don't know when this takes place in the series. Like, just it's, it's just the movie. Just learn that the movies have it, they they're in its own world. Just love it. Just love it. So anyway, Dragon Ball has been around for decades at this point. Honestly, it has been a challenge to keep up with the story's timeline sh- straight over the past couple of years. So as many sequels have blurred the line of the story, and of course, there is one person keeping track of it all, and mm. it's the creator, Akira Tomiyami. So obviously, fans have turned into recently when the when the artist addressed the timeline's rare new statement. Uh, he said that the update, uh, blah, blah, okay, the update just went live in, in Japan as the manga adaptation for Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, superheroes went live. It was. We're not missing nothing, are we? No. Okay. Boy, you see, I had a, I was about to pause the whole episode. I mean, hmm. Black Clover is one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let no. another episode of Dragon Ball Super no. come out, and I'm going to miss the chapter. Not um, yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, You're good. Okay, Super went live, and as the fans were gifted to a new note by Torami, and the creator made sure to confirm where the movie takes place. As it turns out, Superhero goes down just before the end of Z uh, epilogue. So the movie, so the movie up to now have followed major episodes in the 10 years between the original manga's Majin Buu arc and its final chapter. Superhero is a story right before the final chapter. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the confirmation is good to have and to be straight. It's hardly surprising for a long time fans. Uh, after all, Dragon Ball Superheroes does give some hints about its placement. And the biggest evidence it gives True. throughout is through Pan. The movie tackles when Pan is just three years old in the end of Z era, where she happens to be going on five, four or five. So there you go. Yeah. Which all you have to do is watch the last episode. Really curious about that. I feel like I just... <sighs> it's the people that are trying are to get are, the, are these the people we, gator, we, we, we cater to? No, we, do, we don't. People, but, we don't, but is yeah. that what and the culture is catering to? Yeah. Because everybody is strong behind them keys. Um, let's keep it pushing. This actually comes from comicbook.com. Uh, ranking of Kings, Treasure Chest, and Courage anime announced. So Ranking of Kings has been out of the picture for a while now, but it seems the anime's hiatus will end very soon. After all, the team at Wit Studio has confirmed there is more <laughs> of a show on its way. Sorry about that. Mom. No, you, 
crazy loud because I clicked on the link and the link instead of playing within that website it took me to actually YouTube. No, you're it. good. Go ahead. Uh, Ranking of the King is getting a new anime next year, and with this uh, special reunite Ninizens with Prince Baji, the boy mm. of the day. Hey, put respect on his name. Hey. Um, and so, according to the update, Ranking of King's Treasure Chest of Courage will be the title of the show's next project. The anime is set to start April of 2023, and at this time, fans do not know how long the series will run. Which studio uh, may give fans a full season order, or or go with a two-shot OVA request. But either way, the side story will bring. Uh, Baji back to the screen following the season one debut. So, if you have not seen Ranking of Kings, go ahead and watch, watch it because it, it, is, it is about action, like a, a lot of good action animation, but also heart and soul following somebody that is perceived to be less than what they are, and they they have just so much to offer. So, yeah, beauty, check it beauty. Out. Uh, Stone says so. Gohan was just holding back his power. Of the, uh, his power at the tournament of power. Nope. Hey, Snow, no. it's just the fact that it is what it is always known to be Dragon Ball timeline. That's just all it is. We love it because we're fans of it. We know how they get down. Yeah. So with that You're being said, yeah, with that being said, Stone, you know, we just got to say yes. Or we <laughs> can say no. It is what it is. This next thing up on the docket is, uh, let me pull it back up, this trailer right here. We got the Seven Daily Sins grudge of Edinburgh. Shares a special clip that looks like a, uh, a trailer or a mid-game cutscene. <laughs> the Seven Daily Sins anime run yeah, may yes. have wrapped up the original story uh, from Naki by Suzaki, original manga, but it turns out they want to milk the cow a little bit more. And as in store, Netflix has dropped a new clip, and it's a big new movie. Seven Daily says, Urge or Grudge of Edinburgh follows the TV anime and feature films ending the original story, is returning to the franchise for a new original story set after the events of the prior season. The time will be focused on a new generation of young knights, as um, a young knights as the take on a terrible new kind of threat. What of course a surprise. Um, yeah, here it is. Um, we see our buddies in this shot scene. We see uh Miliotis. Uh we see what was her name? Elizabeth, El- his wife. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. yeah, the and home Tristan, girl Elizabeth. The and Tristan. Yep. The uh I'm not paying attention to the subtitles, but he looked like he got a little attitude, a little chip on his shoulder. Um as he runs off. And the scene is about to clip to him being outside and we can control him. That's mm. what it reminds me of. <laughs> but uh, instead, you see the Netflix symbol. Um, I'm going to watch it, of course. We'll just out of curiosity and hopefully, you know, hopefully it's not as bad as I say it is. Yeah, like I could understand like the CG. It's a different type of CG, but I think yeah, that's... Yeah, it's the Sonic Adventure CG. <laughs> I feel like that's what they're going for a little bit because it's like almost like the chi- like a chibi version of the show like they did chibi naruto like you know shit's gonna be wonky on there but yeah i think yeah. i think it's a, i think it's a prime example of uh let's let's keep milking don't this. don't do that let's keep milking don't this. do it okay so let's take another pause for the cause because we'll, it's done they, they, we'll they come said back like, <laughs> like yeah do you remember the manga that, that wrapped up last yeah. couple years ago like it finished we're bringing it back we're gonna they, do it again that's what they do. It's how they make money. That's how they bring you more anime. Yeah. Bring you more anime. They just give us a new story. Team Rocket of anime. But it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be right back after this. Pause for the cause with segment three anime and manga of the month. Just sit back and listen to Slip Dot Stream, where you as a streamer can get copyright free music. But uh, be on the lookout for DJ Gamer Boy. We'll be after this break. I think it's time to blow this scene, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Let's jam, that's right. Jets Galactic Jam is now available in every star system. Jets Galactic Jam provides jams from all types of fruits, strawberries, grapes, apricots, peaches, raspberries, and much, much more. Just find the nearest galactic grocer near you to pick up a jar. See you around, Space Cowboy. 
Are you ready for summer? Now we have All Might's Ultra Plus Strong Lemonade. Training to be a hero can be hard on your body, especially if your quirk hasn't quite distinguished itself. Keep hydrated while training and enjoy the muscle-numbing effects of All Might's new Ultra Plus Strong Lemonade. <sighs> oh, there's a hair in my lemonade. All Might's Ultra Plus Strong Lemonade is not for the faint or weak of heart and can only be consumed by a true hero at the risk of death. Okay, so we are back. Let's go ahead and dive into Anime and Manga of the Month, where we bring you an anime and manga for you to read and watch for the entire month of December, and then we change it up the next month. Go ahead and hit him over the head, Buck. Yes, this week, uh, or this month, excuse my French, uh, <laughs> our Anime of the Month is The Laughing Under the Clouds. Uh, I got the trailer puffing right now. This is a fantasy. This is a, a quick 24... That's not right. That didn't save. It's a quick <laughs> 12 episodes uh, available on Crunchyroll. Sorry, most of my information. I, I, don't, I don't think I saved it correctly. I don't oh, think I uploaded no. it probably. Yeah, you see that? Uh-uh. Oh, so anyways, the but the description is still there. When samurais were outlawed in the Maji era, the mighty samurai began to disappear. Those who rejected were labeled as rebels, causing unrest throughout the countryside. The combat... This... Uh, the combat that the criminals activity were inescapable and they were taken to prison wait that doesn't make sense to com oh to combat this criminal activity an escapable lakeside prison was constructed three young men born of como That's line uh, were given the duty of delivering these criminals to this place but could there be more suspicious activity going into this prison uh this is a really good palette cleanser anime uh i gave it an easy silver um mm, okay, if it had nice. a slightly better budget you could tell this was one of those animes that because of animes like demon slayer the budget was just like oh, unable to hit it, it, it would know it was super small they probably had like a, a normal small budget for an anime but because we're so used to like over the top fight scenes now uh you, you can see where this anime just kind of fell yeah um but the story is funny uh not a nice enough action story plot was good um i love it it was like a good refreshing anime so i strongly high, high, highly recommend you watch it they're supposed to be nice. coming out with some like ovas for the next i guess series of it i guess this one did good enough so yeah. check it out laughing under the clouds cool laughing under the clouds anime of the month manga of the month is neolation a technical delinquent and a regular delinquent take over japan's criminal record uh 19 chapters out three volumes let's go ahead and take a look at these first panels uh i love the artwork i love the comedy in here i love the action as everything starts to go down again what do you get when you cross paths with your opposite it's almost like uh what is the show it's this older show it came on after bob newhart um like on the Nick odd couple yeah 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 the odd couple that's basically what it is the anime odd couple uh, but you're also taking on the government. You can take on things with your phone, you know, hacking, uh, stealing money, deals like that. And then also being up front and having the guts to do it to somebody's face and stand up for yourself. So just classic shonen. I love the artwork. I love the style. I love the, the thought process that went into how to execute a lot of things in here. Uh, but again, it's, it's a short read. It's only 19 chapters. So some you can dig oh, into this month. Plays through. Yeah. Is it still ongoing or is it done? It's done already. Mm, okay. Yeah, unfortunately. But again, really good. I wish it would have kept going on Viz Media. Go to Viz Media, one ninety nine a month. Gets you access to everything that you need. But that is your manga of the month. So uh, Laughing Under the Clouds, anime of the month. And Neolation is your manga of the month. Yes. Yeah. That's a Man. Nice, nice little show today. That was beautiful. Nice. And it's, it's like going to a restaurant and getting a nice to go order and it's neat you got all your utensils the flavors is there and when you get home it's just like ready to it's ugh, all yeah. in your mouth it's ready just all in your mouth dude I just, it's, it's, it's the way you want it done it's the way you want it done yes that yes. is the way that you want it done yes yeah, all Every in time. his mouth folks remember that when you see him on the street say all in your mouth fuck yes 
Please. Yell it. Yell Please. at him. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us for today's <laughs> show, 340, talking about 340, say, baby. It, say It Ain't So Disney. in the Christmas show. Yeah, Disney, like really locking it down. Yeah. Toy Animation coming back with Dragon Ball Super in the manga, following Goten and Trunks right after Superhero in their older form which well, this will be interesting because it's like everybody's like oh Goku and Vegeta are leaving the franchise now it's Trunks and Goten it's like is that really what people be going at you know how these we people do you gotta be do. joking man it's really no. people really like go that hardcore with yes it? yes and I'm just that's like so aggressive dude Vegeta that and so Goku aggressive. are still there we know like with Black Freeze that there's Trunks and Goten ain't gonna get the job done. They had to go on, had to go up in level. Piccolo had to go orange because Freeze is actually black now. He's his war though, his worst enemy is like ah Freeze 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 is if anybody ever doubting the glow up on this man. Freeze got the Yeah, he he went aggressive hands. Yeah. Super, super aggressive. Anyways, That's why it's called Dragon Ball Super because he knew he's like you thought Moro and Granola and the Eaters. Hey, let me tell you about a man named Freeze. Remember Just him from Namek? Forgot about me. Hey, I'm still here, my boy. And he can't be mad at him like he's taking hard L's. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like when Freeza came back, it that whole arc towards the end, like even seeing <laughs> Gas like age up Yo. all of a sudden super quick. Like, why is he getting old so Yo. bad? Who, where did this power come from all of a sudden that's aging him? Nasty. He can't even hold it no more. Yeah. He, his body couldn't even hold how strong he was. Frieza was. And then when Frieza showed up, hey, Frieza showed up with the shit like, what y'all whole ass doing over here? Hey, who did not tell y'all to go to bed? Oh, did not tell y'all to go to bed. <laughs> y'all still trying to fight? Oh, y'all don't. Y'all don't y'all, even know. No, no, let y'all don't. No, no. Let, let me let you power up. Hands. Yeah, but go ahead and get anyway. all that little juice you need, Goku. Yeah, Namek, heal him up, and then power all the way up to your white hair. And let me let me show you what a real punch feels like. Let me bring like. you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah. Uh, great show. Check us out next week where we'll be discussing our video games. Video games already. Wow, man. Video know, games. Fun. And then this is the December month as well. Me and Elijah haven't talked about it in person, but we've been talking about it through our minds because we, we were linked together we also got coming to you like our anime and video games of the year yep ending this year strong and like yeah yeah it's yeah. coming yeah i know coming. yeah 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 we gotta hit you our video game and animes of the year so uh thank you guys for watching yes uh stay tuned for like elijah had teased earlier dj gamer boy uh, shout out to this DJ. He is hooking us up with some music and is going to hook you guys up with some music too for you to listen to while you're trying to do your projects and whatnot. And if you are a content creator, for you to be able to post with some good music behind you while you're listening. Uh, right now, you can go like on Facebook. There's nothing there. But DJ Gamer Boy, go check him out. Uh, and stay tuned for more content on it and better ways to follow. Yep. yep. And as always, remember our sponsors in the corner, switcheries.com and ME Eats. Use Edge2G to get $5 off on your order of ME Eats, the world's first uh, low-protein, high-fiber ramen. Uh, they send it to you. Actually, it's in stores now, so you can pick it up. It's, it's really good. They have a lot of flavors. More flavors are coming out. Switcheries.com. Put in Edge10 to get 10% off your purchase. They are the number one online store for switch oled and switch light accessories cases and thumb grips uh other than that make sure to follow us at edge to gaming everywhere youtube facebook twitch also send your emails to the elijah bailey show at gmail.com if you want to send emails just subscribe rate and review and if you're listening to us on spotify and if you're not listening to us on spotify go to spotify give us a five star rating we're not telling you what to do we just know that's what you want to do you do uh, you want to help us out you want to go there it's a great it's way growing. yeah oh yeah it makes it easier for everybody else to find us the podcast that you guys love to hear from weekly um, but other than that i'm elijah 5000 I am the Buckety, where you can follow me at. Mm. Sorry. Say it. Tell them. Everywhere? Everywhere. T-H-E-B-U-C-K-I-T-Y. Yep. The Buckety. And Elijah, real Elijah underscore 5000. If you are going to follow me on social media, don't bring no dumb shit. Please don't. Uh, Yeah, please don't. Uh, But thank you guys for supporting the show. Share with your friends. Like, rate, review. And uh, we'll catch you in next week's podcast, Monday, 430 Central Standard PM. See you later. Peace. Peace.
Hey, what's up, everybody? Elijah 5000 here. Me and the Buckety appreciate it so much that you download this show each and every week. Again, we drop every Thursday. If you're new to the Elijah Bailey Show, go to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, or Spotify, or wherever you listen to this auditorial pleasure that you get weekly, and just subscribe, rate, and review. Thank you, and I'll catch your ass in the next podcast.